Hello folks, my name is Mark Wilson and I am the founder of AccuModel where we inspire confidence in hydraulic modeling. I'm producing this series of tutorials for EPANet to help those that are new to hydraulic modeling or have tried it and uh, been frustrated with not getting very far. So the first uh, tutorial here is just a quick overview of what EPANet is and what it does and how to get it and what the resources are. EPANet is a free public domain hydraulic modeling software produced by the United States Environmental Protection Agency. That's the website I have up right here. What it's mainly used for is to model public water distribution systems. The inputs are pipes, junctions, tanks, reservoirs, valves, pumps, curves like pump curves, patterns like diurnal patterns, demand patterns, pump controls, valve controls, logical rules, water quality information, and model settings. Things that you can get out of it are pressure, velocity, water quality results, etc. The software can be used for master planning, operational planning, different scenarios of uh, operational, how to run your water utility, water quality modeling. You can test pump station designs on the system before you go ahead and uh, implement pump station updates. You can do fire flow simulation. Just a little bit of history on EPNet. First version uh, came out in 1993. The last version update was in 2008, and that's the version we have now, which is uh, version 2.00.12. This software was created by Lou Rossman, who is now retired from the EPA, and there's a rumored version 3, but I haven't seen anything yet. Just some resources here. This again was the EPA website, specifically EPA page here, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. Another resource here is the Wikipedia page. It has a lot of good background information on where it came from and the and the the methodology behind it. So where do you get EPNet? You go to here, Google EPNet, and here's the main page for it. A lot of good information on how it works and what it can do. Just scroll clear down here to the bottom. And to actually get the uh, public domain free software, it's a Windows desktop program. I'm running it on a Mac, but I'm running it on a copy of uh, Windows 8, which works perfectly well. So you can just go ahead and download the Windows program here. You would also want to download the user's manual. Lots of good information in there. I'm going to use the user's manual as kind of a basis for my future tutorials. I'm going to be working through the concepts in there and actually applying them to models so that you can see how it works actually in the model. If you're into customizing can download the programmer's toolkit and program against that uh, some DLLs, some you know binary compiled files. You can also get the source code if you want to look at that and tinker with that. I'll try to in include some information from the source code as I kind of explain how the code works because that sometimes can be a black box. Anyway, just a quick peek at the software. If you uh, open, once you install the software, this is what you'll see when you open it up. I'm just going to open a quick the, one of the examples from the the installation. It's a 32-bit application, so it gets, it gets installed in x86. EP, EPNet examples double click on one of those .NET files. We can go ahead and run that. The run was successful. We can double click on an element. We can see the input information in gray and then the output is in this yellow fill background here. That's uh, all for this tutorial. 
please check out the next tutorial for when we really start just getting into the software. Thank you.